Well, when you're in the fight for your life and at your most vulnerable, the waiting room in a hospital can be tiresome, frustrating and downright depressing. But the Chris O'Brien Lifehouse is a, a wonderful facility, a cancer treatment centre in Sydney, and it's changing that experience for all the patients who walk through its doors. And joining us now from the hospital is the wife of the late Chris O'Brien and board member, uh, board director, I should say, uh, Gail. A very good morning to you. What a crowd you've got there this morning. You are unveiling a pretty amazing project today. Tell us, run us through the highlights of this amazing project. Oh, thank you, Beck, and thank you, Richard, for having us Pleasure. today. Yes, we have a, a wonderful, a wonderful project happening and a reveal today. And Basically, it was around an innovation prize that was won by one of our young doctors, Dr. Liz Connolly. Um, I think it shows how amazing this hospital is to adopt uh, uh, prizes like that to um, bring innovation to the fore. And uh, she won this prize and had a great idea to change the waiting rooms in, a, in our hospital, in the clinics, to bring more comfort and convenience and uh, good communication to our patients. I think it shows what a, what a patient-centred approach we take. So today we've been working on this project for eight months as a group. Um, it's been a beautiful coming together of people and we, uh, we're revealing it today. So I, if you like, I can show you around the room. Yeah, I do go want on. To Please do. Uh, Give Dr. Us a tour. Liz Connolly to you. Yeah, <laughs> well she's done. there. That's Dr. Liz Connolly. And we have a, a, a lot of our patients and staff around to um, say hello to you this morning. Um, but uh, Hi, everybody. I'm going to point out some of the things <laughs> we've done. <laughs> and we couldn't have done this without philanthropy. But as you know, we're not for profit. Profit. We're an NFP. We're not a PPP. We're a not not for profit. So we rely on philanthropy. And I want to introduce uh, two of our philanthropists, Dr. Um, Ricky and uh, Jenny Cha, over there, who um, have enabled this to happen. As all, also the Dry July um, uh, project. Um, so th I'm going to point out what we've been able to do with uh, the funds that have come through through philanthropy mm -hmm. um, and also I want to mention the volunteers we have. We have an army of volunteers and we couldn't possibly do, have done this project without them. So over there we have uh, charging stations for the um, telephones. Uh, we've introduced all this beautiful, comfortable furniture so people aren't just sitting in rows. Yes. We have fruit on the table so they can have some nutrition. We have the green wall plants, so green wall. We have the children playing at these, um, these uh, you know, games. Space invaders that they're, play yeah. they're playing, yeah. Gail, it looks, it looks <laughs> wonderful. I mean, Chris was such an inspirational guy, as are you and, and everybody you, you, you're working with. There. What difference is this going to make to, to people who, who, who come, in, come in there? I mean, it's going it's to have a big impact, isn't it? Well, I... The huge impact, because the biggest thing, I think, is that screen on the wall. There are several screens around, and they will show how long they've got to wait for the doctor. So they're not... And sit, we did a big survey with the, with the patients, and they didn't want beepers. So they didn't want to go away and have to um, be beeped to come mm. back for their appointment. They just want to be SMSed. But they can see on the screen what, uh, how long they've got to wait for their doctor. And if they've got work to do, we've got the new work pods over there. They can just um, bring their computers and work there or go down for a coffee and then the staff will let them know. Mm. Um, they, it's, it's all about you know, keeping them comfortable, well-informed and relieves anxiety, I think. Yeah, and Gail, I think, um, you know, I'm sure you'll agree with me, it's the little things for people going through one of the most difficult times mm. of their lives to make you know, that first port of call, which is a waiting room, you know, a nicer place to be, um, it's going to make a huge difference. So I just want to congratulate you on all of your great work yeah, yeah. and also congratulate uh, the late Chris O'Brien, obviously, on, on getting this all started. It's a terrific initiative. And Thank thanks you. very much for telling us about it today. Wishing you all the best. See old mates itching Thank to sing a song. Yeah, have we got some music? Have we got a, who's that there <laughs> in the background with his guitar? Can we sing us out? Yeah. <laughs> Here comes the sun and Some beautiful tunes. <laughs> Gail, thank you so much indeed. Well done. Uh, thank you, Richard. <laughs> Take care. Beautiful song.